Kitchen is brought to you by Harvest Market. Is your waffle maker just sitting in your pantry collecting dust? Absolutely it is. <laughs> After today, though, we're going to want to bust it out as guest chef Lisa Lewis Shields is sharing the many different uses for the beloved appliance. Yes. And so we're, we're saying that many equals more than just waffles, apparently. Exactly. I had no idea. And it's like the panini maker. It's like the George Foreman. What all can you do with it? Well, you've got quite the variety of waffle yes. makers here. I know there's like thin waffles and then there's, there's thick waffles. Belgian waffles and but I've thin waffles. I've never seen a cast iron waffle maker. That is the one that you can do Will on Will this hurt me? No. Okay. That, I know, like, don't burn yourself. Yeah. No, that's no, what no, I was no. kind of waiting for. Um, that's like on a campfire on your grandma, great grandma's coal stove. stove. That type so of that's like vintage. Very vintage. Antique. Uh, it's, yes. And it's I not am, shaped like I Mickey am Mouse. Vintage. <laughs> I think the, I honestly think the one that's buried somewhere in my cabinets is the Mickey Mouse one. The Mickey Mouse like one. Mickey oh, Mouse. yes. Yeah. Cute city. Cute. Okay. You're a little too old for that now, but no, 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 no never. I bet that would and, make and, you. And Mickey Mouse. Did you eat the face first or the ears first? Oh, the ears. Oh, the ears. Definitely. I wasn't cool enough to have a Mickey Mouse ball. All you have to do is pour three circles onto the thing, and then exactly. you can make it. Make it look oh, like is that it? I mean, if you want to, if you want to fake it. And then, and then two triangles make a bow. Yeah. Oh, so, look yeah. at you. Okay, well, let's talk about the many different things that you can stuff in a waffle maker because oh, it looks goodness. like you've got some things over there. To, I see cinnamon rolls, tater tots, tater tots, tater tots uh, hash browns, all kinds that you could do. Uh, mashed potatoes, make a potato cake. Ooh. You can do cinnamon rolls. You can do biscuits and gravy and just do your, your biscuits. How do you not crush the tater tots? You do. Well, crush, I think you, you do. do oh. Crush the tater tots. You want to crush the tater. So tots. it's like tater mush when you're done. No, well, it'll be it's crispy, like, right? It's like crispy. Right, is this done? Yes. Okay, we're looking here. We're going to a little need list. Your oh yeah. Yeah. It says biscuits and gravy. Now, well, obviously you wouldn't put the gravy. In well, no, the you have maker. the biscuits. Oh. And then it has the little squares to hold the gravy. Oh, and then the next thing on the list was a taco, a waffle taco. Well, you just take your your. Waffle. Tortilla? Fold it in half? No, and fold it in half, and you can make it, or, but you can add tortillas in I there actually also. have had those with, like, bacon and eggs in them. It's like yes. a breakfast tea taco. Okay, which is really yes. good. Also, I just saw chaffle. Chaffle? That is the keto brand, or the keto type. Oh. Where? Which is what, cheese? Cheese, cheese and, and eggs. eggs. Okay. I yes. also think I saw you making chocolate chip cookies, which is brilliant. <laughs> when I say making, I may have mean... Oh, they got a little done. I'm not they saying got a little them now, done. but I still think yes. we need to mention it because it's possible. It is very possible. It's just that I was doing the brownies and I was. You doing just have four waffle makers going at the, at same, the same time, time and it's like, yeah, <laughs> now it's bound to happen. Can we also talk a little bit about the differences between waffles and pancakes? Pancakes do not have as much fat or as much sugar, so they're more of a cake where they get crispy on the outside and cakey and soft and fluffy on the inside. But isn't the the, the mixture that you use to make pancakes and waffles the same? No. Oh. No. It no. might be at my house. <laughs> yes. So that explains that's, a lot, that, doesn't it? That might be why your, your, huh. your waffles taste like pancakes or they, you know, maybe don't come out as good or whatever. Maybe. You were also putting something into, I think, these aren't just all normal waffles. Like they're this has meat ham. This has ham and cheese and like egg. diced ham. Yes. So it's like, yeah, try it. Give it a whirl. Kevin doesn't want it because he doesn't like ham. Kevin is trying to make good choices. Hmm. Yes. It's like a waffle omelet. Yes. Very a, much so. A omelet. Oh, oh, there we go. There you go. Oh, yeah, and this it here first, folks. Mm -hmm. And this one has pumpkin in it, <gasps> and the. Um, Oh the one that's cooking is regular, just regular waffle. I'm going to guess these all have to cook differently than a regular waffle cooking time. Right? Well, you, you, you get to know your timing and not like the chocolate chip cookies where they come Give or home. take. <laughs> Give or take. And exactly. is that literally, is that just a chocolate waffle? Is that brownie mix? It's brownie mix. Oh, it's a brownie. It's a brownie. How many minds have been blown today? At least one. I hope so. I hope somebody has learned something. Well, you've got lots but of recipes. There's lots coming. of recipes, and there's more ideas on. I'm CIA still waiting to see how, TV. You, how you put bacon in a waffle maker. That one, I think I would. Well, be we'll it, it would cook a little bit longer than the chocolate chip cookie. I, Maybe. <laughs> and we'll eat more a little later on in the show. But if you want to check out details now, all you need to do is go to CILiving.tv and. We'll